This is John Heald, a good friend of mine. He's the senior cruise director for Carnival Cruise Lines, but he's also now got a sort of a roving job travelling around the, the Carnival fleets reporting on the new ships. And um, always twittering away on his uh, raspberry mm. and uh, doing his blog. Can I interrupt you for a second, John? Do you have to? Okay, let me just press send. Okay. Done? Done. Hello, mate. Brilliant. Nice How to are see you? you. Great to see you yeah. too. Great to see you. First of all, uh, I've not had a chance to tell you this, but congratulations. How's Heidi and how's the new baby? Well, she's doing great. This is my first time away from her. Uh, she's two weeks and three, four days old. And um, it's been, to be away from her has been amazing because I've slept for seven straight hours. <laughs> no, it's been really, been really difficult being away from her and uh, um, mum and baby are doing well. We've been trying for five years, every Thursday, and never thought we would be blessed. But we, are, we have been, and, uh, it's, it's been great. Haven't had a chance for a haircut, have, I've got bags under my eyes, but it's been just stunning. Oh, I saw the pictures of her and she's beautiful, but clearly she's got uh, those from her mother. Yeah, uh, definitely from the mother. Uh, she's been blessed with that. She's got my bottom though, because she's pooing a lot. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, what brings you aboard a Costa ship? Well, you know, Costa are part of the Carnival family, and uh, oh, we're doing it to music now. This is great, isn't it? Part of the Costa family, and uh, as brand ambassador uh, for Carnival Cruise Lines, I'm also asked every now and then to to come on board for them and, and uh, for the family, and, and uh, just talk to the, the cruising public, people who, like yourself and me, who just love cruising, to talk a little bit about uh, the family and what's happening. This is my first time on the Costa Pacifico. I guess it's your first time too. You can tell who had a hand in the design of it though, can't you? You really can. I mean, there are there are places around here that has Joe Farkas's signature all over it. I've been trying to work out whether an artist, as they get older, whether they get more elaborate or whether they calm down a little bit. What do you think? Hard to tell. I mean, this is very carnivally, but sort of, I think they've put him in... Uh, in handcuffs or something because it's a bit more restrained well i think uh, certainly the colors are very vibrant here there's no doubt about that but i guess with the theme of music i mean music is vibrant isn't it so i think what he's tried to do is through colors and through the different schemes here uh, portray the music but then across on the luminosa mm. very calm very earthy very rich and i as much as i love the pacifica I just come from the Luminosa and I thought she was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Sensational really, ship. Really sensational. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's, it's full of Italians. I mean, I've never seen so many blokes in brown shoes combing their hair. What is it about Italians that gave them... Suddenly, the entire country woke up one morning and said, right, you can wear dark, bra dark blue black suit and put brown shoes on. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but they're everywhere and... Uh, you know, there it, it's you know, you know everything Italy creates has beauty and passion and soul and Ferrari and Maserati and uh, and all that stuff. So it, you know, th this is this typifies Italy, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, the other day, um, I did a piece for Sky on the Carnival Dream, mm. which I know you were on uh, the other day too. How's she coming along? I mean, I saw photos, but you've been there. Yeah, I just spent the last two days uh, walking the ship and. You know, I could go on for 20 minutes, but I'll just say this. This ship, this carnival ship, will give us as a company the opportunity to entertain and serve passengers, I guess, in ways we've never been able to do before. We are able with this ship to think completely outside of the carnival box. All the old favorites are still there, but there's so many new things that we're able to do, and it's going to be absolutely brilliant. It really is. There's no danger that Carnival are drifting towards the um, the who climbs the rock climbing wall of the seas or anything like that? No, I don't think so. I mean, you know, I know there's lots of comparisons between, um, you know, certain ships that are all coming out at the same time. And I guess if you give a chef, if you give three chefs the same ingredients, everybody's going to come up with a different recipe, aren't they? I mean, the bases will be the same, but how they cook it will be will be differently, uh, will be different. But I think Carnival is 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 very focused, affordable value, great fun, iconic crew members, and a few surprises up our sleeve.